I was noticing a few anomalies with respect to this uh, JK Smart BMS which is installed on my EU 105AH 8S LiPo 4 battery pack. One of them is related to the ampere display shown over here and as you can see the ampere is fluctuating all the way from minus 7 to positive 7 amperes. I mean the display just keeps jumping between these two values. And to confirm this behavior what I have done is I have installed this uh, trusty little clamp meter and as you can see the ampere drop which is currently going on in this system is negligible definitely under 2 amps and the same behavior can be confirmed on my UTL Gamma Plus screen which uh, shows barely 1 or 1.5 and a half ampere which is flowing between the system but as we can see that this uh, smart BMS is reading anywhere from minus 7 amperes to plus 7 amperes and calibration cannot solve this problem because the readings are both in positive and negative so even if I add an offset in the calibration it's going to just mess up the values but this thing keeps fluctuating as you can see this is minus 7 and the next moment it will be plus 7 so has any one of you guys ever noticed this kind of erroneous behavior with respect to their JK smart BMS the next problem that I'm having is related to voltage readout and to test this thing I have applied a mild load which is barely 20 amps and 20 amps should be nothing for this particular battery. Now if we focus on this uh, voltage readout you can see how it is jumping all the way from 26.7 then the next moment it's 26.3 then it goes all the way up to 26.4 and then it uh, drops back down so uh, there is a huge variation between the voltage which is being read by this particular BMS. To confirm this thing, I have added my Sigma 3138 Rusty clamp meter and as we can see, there is absolutely no fluctuation between the readout on this clamp meter. But the one on this BMS is like all the way, it's like jumping all over the pale place, 26.2, 26.3, then 4 and then it falls back down. But here on this uh, particular clamp meter, you can see it is practically rock solid. A little harder to show with one hand and uh, holding these leads somehow. But yeah, it is more or less solid at 26.3 volts. The third issue I am having is related to cell imbalance and uh, I have already manually balanced these cells twice and you can see that still there is a huge difference of almost 100 millivolts and as you can see, this is the same voltage jumping issue which seems to be happening with total voltage. Maybe they are related and as you can see these cells like they go all the way from 3.2 something then 3.3 something and all of them seem to be having this kind of issue and as you can see the cells are like jumping all over the place they are 3.2 one moment then 3.319 then again they fall back down so uh, they are like changing in uh, seconds or milliseconds you can see this one it's uh, fluctuating very rapidly so that's al almost 100 millivolts uh, difference in the fluctuation and the same thing is reflected over here and even with a mild load of around 20 amperes there is 100 millivolt of uh, differences or you can say 100 millivolt delta between all of these cells again to isolate the cause i have this uh, sigma 313a clamp meter on the very first cell so this is cell number one and as you can see over here uh, it's going somewhere from uh, 3.28 then it goes to 3.3 then it's again back to 2.6 something and then it's like but here on my uh, clamp meter the cell is rock solid and stable at 3.3 volts so absolutely no fluctuation over there and yes I have uh, balanced these uh, twice none of the terminals are hot at least to my hand and they are about as tight as they go without me trying to you know uh, overdo them and uh, having a stripped nut so that is uh, how like I believe they are pretty tight the way they are but I am still having this uh, issue to isolate any kind of uh, loose contact issues or you can say these uh, crimping issues with uh, the balance leads I have this uh, multimeter connected uh, to where the BMS is getting its reading from I mean the probes are not on the battery bars itself but they are on these uh, thin balance wires I don't know if you can see this so we are here testing the cell number one and the probes of multimeter are directly on these uh, balance leads and here as you can see Cell number 1 is still fluctuating from 3.2 then 3.3 but uh, the reading on the multimeter is again rock solid. So I believe this uh, correct voltage is at least 
reaching these uh, balance lugs but uh, after that i'm not really sure and here is the reading once again for you that is uh, very stable on the meter and jumping up and down on this jk bms all over the place okay coming to the conclusion part of this video i did a lot of research online i read a bunch of forums i went to the diy solar forum i went to other forums and unfortunately people have been notifying this kind of problem as early as 2022 which means that jk is aware with this kind of problem since 2022 and they have had two years to fix this problem which they haven't unfortunately all of the threads which are there on these forums are just left abandoned and there is no clear solution for this problem there is no update there is no firmware upgradation coming from jk for this particular problem i also directly wrote to jk's technical department or you can say their customer care department and i also made the copy of that email to some top youtubers like uh, andy from offgrid garage and a bunch of other youtubers who are in this particular field and none of them even jk did not seem to reply or acknowledge my email uh, unfortunately it appears that jk is simply uh, not interested in solving this kind of problem in fact they haven't even acknowledged that this kind of problem uh, is existing in this particular model of uh, bms which is a really sad part uh, one person tried using capacitors in a uh, parallel to the bms which again did not help a few people suggested that there is a weak lc filter with this particular design of jk bms again it cannot be easily solved at the user end and there is no resolution for this kind of voltage jumping issue or inaccuracy issue of jk bms so if you have this problem you will be stuck with it unless jk really ups their game and brings proper firmware upgrades proper hardware upgrades and starts acknowledging its customers that these kind of problems exist at least they could have helped by replying my email first i thought that my particular piece is maybe having some kind of fault or problem so what i did was i replaced that piece with another brand new 150 amp model again of the same design and unfortunately the same thing also had this kind of inaccuracy and voltage jumping issues now coming back to the conclusion i think in indian market or you can say in the international market the kind of choice that we have with respect to bms be it uh, jk be it dali be it you know seplos or any other brand i think uh, the hardware which is provided by jk is still very top of the line they come with an inbuilt active balancer which is missing in uh, most of the other brands of bms i think that hardware is very good but it is being spoiled by you can say unrefined software and buggy firmware of these jk bmss and their technical team really needs to come out and fix these small issues which might make the jk bms absolutely the best choice for us diy enthusiasts currently i'll say that if you want good hardware you will still have to choose jk bms and i just call it the choice of lesser evil so unfortunately uh, there's no solution until at this point but yes we will continue discussing we have done very good uh, discussions on this issue on our telegram group the link to join that particular telegram group is uh, in the uh, description or in the comment section below and you can also continue discussing about this particular issue if you are facing this issue in the comment section of this video take care and have a nice day guys